Hey Spicer fans, Zach Heiser from the Dana Garage here with Matt Linko. We're so excited to be the original equipment on the Ford Bronco. However, today we're going to be talking about our upgraded rear axle. Today we're going to talk you through the installation and some of the features and benefits about the new Ultima Dana 60 semi-float rear axle. That's a direct bolt-in and plug-in for the new Ford Bronco. We start with our tried and true Dana 60 center section. It's got a 1350 series pinion yoke, has a cast iron diff cover, has your choice of 488 or 538 ratios, and either Eaton Electric or ARB locking differential. It has three and a half inch diameter tubes. It has quarter inch thick brackets that are significantly upgraded over the stock brackets. It's got some really neat brake line clips that you'll see come in real handy when we do the install a little later. It's got a significantly beefed up track bar bracket. It's got a boxed shock or coil over bracket. And it, it has the bracket on the end that allows you to put your stock caliper back on the axle because your stock caliper, brake caliper and your stock rotor are reused. It also has the port to reuse your stock ABS sensor. So all of your lights and traction control will work as it's supposed to. Inside, we've got a 35 spline chromoly axle shaft riding on a dual row tapered roller bearing. Usually a typical standard rear axle only has a single tape roller bearing. We've got a dual row tape roller bearing at each end. All right, let's get the tools out and change these axles. To start the installation of our rear axle, we need to take out the original axle. So we've already taken off the calipers, hung them up, slid the rotors off, taken the brake backing plates off because we'll need these. All of those things will go on the new axle. Um, we've disconnected the ABS wires and gotten those out of the way, and we've taken a couple of the 10 millimeter bolts out of the hardline clips, and we'll show you those in a little bit. Now we just need to pull the bolts out of the control arms and the track bar, and we'll be able to drop this thing right out. The stock rear track bar in the Bronco is not reused because it won't fit with the larger Ultimate Dana 60 semi-float rear axle. So we send along a new Yeti Steer Smarts track bar that's significantly upgraded and it's got a larger bow to make room for our Dana 60 axle. Now that we have our new Ultimate Dana 60 semi-float rear axle for this Bronco in place, we can connect the upper and lower control arms. Now that we have our control arms on, we can put the lower bolt in our coilovers. Make sure you go from the inside out. And now we can install our track bar. So the rear axle of the Bronco has two separate hard lines that run to the calipers. On our Ultima Dana 60 semi-float rear axle, we've included a little bracket so that you can reattach it just like the stock bracket, not only for this little brake line bolt here, but also for the one here and the one over there and the Christmas tree clips that hold everything in place. Over here we have our vent tube that we reinstall. And this, this clip right here we'll put under this bolt. Some of the pieces that you'll need to take off of your old axle and put on the new axle is the splash shield, the brake rotor, the brake caliper, which we have hanging over there, and the original ABS sensor. We're gonna put all of those onto the new axle right now. 
And they all attach with the original heart. Now you know why we put the coil over bolt in from the back side. One of the neat things that Ford did on the Bronco was they incorporated an electric parking brake right into the caliper. Lastly, we're gonna install the original ABS sensor directly into our Ultimate Dana 60 axis. When we do our final torque, we'll make sure that these are set to manufacturer specs. The last brake line clip will be held in with this bolt right here. Just like the other side, we have to put the splash shield and the rotor and the caliper all back on our new axle. So we've got all of our bolts in, we've got our nuts on. We need to, we're gonna tighten them just, just very gently because we need to tighten, do the full tighten when the weight of the vehicle is on the suspension. All we have to do after that is attach our rear drive shaft and we've completed our installation. If your Bronco is equipped with an electric locking rear differential, you'll have this plug going to the rear axle. You'll need to remove that plug because on your new Ultima Dana 60 semi-float rear axle, you've got an adapter plug that goes from our standard electric locking plug to one that mates directly with your vehicle one. Now you can control your new Ultima Dana 60 rear axle with the stock switches in your dash. That concludes our installation. Hey, thanks for joining us today for the installation of the new Ultimate Dana 60 semi-float rear axle in our Ford Bronco. Make sure you check out the installation of the new Ultimate Dana 44 Vantec front drive unit in this same Bronco. And be sure to check us out at SpicerParts.com and on social media at SpicerParts.